All right, so Bobby Poosh asked me to talk about middle school. I asked him if uh, he wanted to, you know, if he had any questions specifically in mind that he wanted answered. And he was like, no, nah, just talk about middle school. So I took a moment to kind of just think about the different things I went through in my head in middle school. And a couple of them came to mind. Uh, largely it was the biggest turn from when I started to kind of recede from everyone else. I, in grade school, or I guess it's all kind of grade school, but in elementary school was the word I'm looking for, I was still kind of the class clown trying to get everybody to smile and laugh and stuff like that. And uh, when I went to middle school, that's when I first started to, to escape that and sort of think that I was better off on my own and didn't want, you know, I felt like people were laughing at me instead of with me and stuff like that. So I stopped trying to entertain people. So the biggest thing that came to mind was that among a few other things, but that was where I first started to kind of take on a different uh, personality, really. Um, it was also, you know, while I was continuing to develop that new personality, I was trying different things, trying to figure myself out. Uh, I had first started playing Metal Gear Solid at that time, and Solid Snake was one of my heroes. Uh, you know, a huge inspiration, started to get me in shape a little bit more and stuff like that. I was a pretty tubby kid through most of uh, elementary school. And uh, not like, you know, you couldn't roll me down the street, but... I, uh, you know, wasn't thin by any means, wasn't even fit by any means, but so as a part of that, also, I thought that I would try smoking, you know, when I, you know, tell you that I'm straight edge and stuff like that, I don't do drugs or drink alcohol now, but I have drunk half of a Heineken and I smoked like four cigarettes. That's the extent of my drug and alcohol history. Um, I remember sneaking my dad's cigarettes and hopping over the wall uh to high school so high school or junior high school was right next to where i lived literally i had to hop a wall and i was in the the schoolyard so that was kind of cool so i'd sneak some of his cigarettes then hop the wall and smoke them right by the wall and thought i was being cool or you know trying to be more like snake who uh you know was a smoker and stuff like that it's just I was trying to find my own way, trying to find who I was. And after doing it a few times, I just sort of questioned it, like, why am I doing this? I don't feel like doing this. I don't want to do this. Why am I doing it? So I stopped doing it. Really that simple. Didn't do it long enough to get hooked, I guess, or whatever. But it just felt stupid. So I didn't do it. Um, skipped a lot of class, too. Forged my dad's signature. Uh, I skipped, I think, about half of a quarter. Was as bad as it got once. Uh, no, maybe not a half. Maybe a I think I skipped, uh, how long are quarters? Like two months? Yeah, the quarter's about two months long, right? I skipped at least, I want to say, oh, close to 20 days of one quarter because I found out how to forge my dad's signature and I was like, I figured the system out. Oh, hey, you know, I can get out of it by just forging this shit. Nobody asked any questions. It was like a free ride. It was freaking awesome. I just stayed at home, played StarCraft, played a lot of StarCraft and cranked it a lot. You know, um, young and just it was a dream. I get to do whatever I want because I found out how to trick the system. There were a couple of times where dad would come home and I was, uh, you know, I was, always had my ear out for it. And uh, I was like, I'd hear his car park and I was like, oh, fuck. And I'd run into my room, like hide in the closet. That was about the most time I spent in the closet for the record. But um, yeah, so that was... I just I got tired of the stress though of always worrying about him coming home, always worrying about if are they gonna call and ask about all these times I've all these all the school I missed. I'm actually very surprised they never called. That's how much my school cared. Is that they like I missed freaking at least a third of a quarter of school and they never thought to be like, Oh, does this kid have a condition or what's going on? Anything like that. Nobody raised nobody was curious, so I got away with it. Um that was the extent of that. While we're on the subject of cranking it, I was a, uh, that's where, I think that's where I started to kind of really um, realize how sexually active I am, um, or my body is, rather, because I don't like sleep around or anything like that. But 
Uh, I found porn for the first time, and that opened up a whole world of <laughs> whole world of possibilities, for better or worse. But yeah, I found that, and uh, I remember one of the most vivid things about junior high school. I didn't know that you could tuck your boner into your waistband of your pants, and so I remember very vividly sitting in my chair and going like, "Oh my god, I hope this thing goes away before." You know the the bell rings when we have to go to the next period because I didn't want to walk around hunched over or like you know get a sweater and tie it around my waist to help hide it or something. A uh, lot of awkward <laughs> awkward times regarding that. So that was you know fun but not fun. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, it was a lot of embarrassing and revealing stories about junior high or middle school, as known to some people. So. It's a lot of who I was back then. Um, yeah, I don't really know how much more to say about that, so that's kind of it. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to elaborate on about that period of my life, God, I hope not. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, let me know. Other than that, there it is. Until next time, stay pushy. <laughs>